Happy New Year. We are here to imagine it. We have the chief scientist from Carl Nelson here at the Imagination Station. Carl, there's somebody standing next to you. This Who is, is this? Kevin Fu from the University of Michigan, Electrical Engineering Department, correct? Electrical, electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Cool. So I ran across the paper you guys did recently about using lasers and personal digital assistants. And so I've, I've actually replicated what you guys did in the paper. And I, I, I just want you to sort of like chime in as we do this really cool experiment with something that most people probably have at home, right? Tony, I know you, you're known for talking to the Alexas. Sometimes I can trigger those, yep. You just said it. You said the magic word and it started. I said the magic word. The way this thing works, it's got a microphone inside of it, like this right here, that little red thing. It's called a MEMS microphone. And what Dr. Fu and his associates have discovered is the, those microphones respond to laser light, okay? I have a laser pointed at the white card there. I'm gonna play a tone through it. So I'm sending the sound out through my laptop, through a, an amplifier, through a laser driver, which modulates the current going to the laser, in, enhancing its brightness. And what's interesting about that is, if we point this at the microphone, this is the astounding thing, right? It generates a signal that is essentially the same as the laser light. But the microphone is designed to respond to sound waves, not light waves. That's, that's right. The, uh, the microphone not only picks up the sound waves, but it's misinterpreting light as if it were sound. So in fact, if we take it away, we can... It's certainly responding to sound. Now, the interesting thing is, since those microphones are in all sorts of personal assistants, like the one we have here, if instead of a sine wave, let's say we actually p put in something like me asking it a question. And I'm going to ask Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? Now with my voice, it responds. But the interesting thing is, now I'm gonna modulate the laser with that recording and point it at the microphone. Give it a second here. Right, so we have the green laser pointing right dead center on that microphone. And we won't be able to hear it. Well, we should. My aim is bad. That's, that's the astounding thing. The modulated laser light is triggering the device. And without actually audibly without making Without audibly it doing it. Correct. Let's see if I can get it back in there again. It's hard to see the opening. There's just a tiny little spot in the center. The time is 1026 AM. So you're over and over asking what time is it to the A word. And, and, and the device is going off. Why is this happening? I don't know. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> right. So what's interesting is nobody knows precisely why it works, but we know how to make it work. Um, what we're doing is something called amplitude modulation, just like an AM radio station. Instead of changing the levels of the radio waves here, what's changing is the uh, intensity of the light. You can see it flickering ever so, uh, ever so little. That flickering is at the same rate of your human voice and your voice saying, uh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.27 a.m. There you go. There it was reacting to my actual voice, but if the laser hits it uh, right on the uh, microphone, it's going to hear this phantom voice uh, as if it were voice coming from the laser. So there's a lot to explore here still, a lot to be discovered about what exactly is happening, the science behind what's triggering the mechanism. Um, I heard there were a couple of theories, potentially, of why this could be happening, but you don't know exactly. Uh, that's right. There are a bunch of theories. Actually, I would make a great high school sort of physics experiment. Uh, <laughs> some of it involves uh, potential heating. Some of it involves things called the photoacoustic effect. Uh, but essentially, inside the microphone is a sensor and that sensor normally looks for the, the movement of a small membrane, a little, just like the ear has a membrane, and it will move when uh, a pressure wave hits it from sound, but in this case, the laser is causing that to move instead of a sound wave. Right, so if you have an evil genius who lives next door to you, please keep your blinds closed because that person could develop some sort of laser and beam into your house to ask, Alexa, what time is it? You don't want that to happen. See? 
But if you want to come on down here to the Imagination Station, they are open this weekend. First weekend of the new year. It's the final weekend for messy science. I'm probably going to forget this. What is it? Swish, spit, and splatter? <laughs> Something check like out, that. Check out, check out the website, okay. ImaginationStationToledo.org. Yeah. Right. yeah, but you can uh, come on down here. And if you have a kid who lives in Lucas County today, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. Thank you so much for coming down from U of M to show us this diabolical science and what potentially could be behind it. Uh, you know, I hope nobody triggers the Alexas by saying, Alexa, that's how you imagine it. <laughs>